Over the years, we've driven some incredible roads in amazing cars. But there's just something special about finding a new road in your own car. So we're taking you along on one of our scouting trips and sharing what we've learned about driving a great back road. Of course, the road that we found is unbelievably spectacular. It's changed at least four times as far as scenery is concerned. It's unbelievable. We keep shouting to each other on the radio, oh my gosh, we've got to shoot this. This is the next corner, we've got to do this. <laughs> I'm amazed. And you know what it's doing is making me fall in love with driving again. Don't get me wrong, we love it. But sometimes we've just got to get things done and it's easy to forget about just driving, especially on a shoot because we've got so many other things on our minds to get the shoot accomplished in addition to being on camera and, you know, just saying smart, interesting, funny, witty things and drive fast and be informative and entertain us. But this, this is just cathartic. It is therapy. I don't care. What you say, this is therapy. One of the most important things I want to get across here is the difference between driving on a canyon road and driving on a track. They are not the same. Now, I know many of you are going, well, obviously, but let's talk about what that means. And here's the big point I want to get across. When you go to a track, your headspace is go as fast as you can. And when you find something where you, your, your tolerance level becomes okay, you then push a little harder. You're looking for the edge when you're at a track. You should be hunting for the edge of grip, for the edge of speed. I'm gonna brake a little later next time. I'm gonna come into this corner hotter. I'm gonna see if I can actually ride the brakes, get the car to rotate, do some late braking into the corner. When you're on a canyon road, you don't want those questions to come up, honestly. I love driving canyons. In fact, many times I would argue that I prefer a good mountain road to a racetrack. And for canyon driving, ideally you're going with your closest friend in the world. But you've each got a car and you're just taking, not easy, but you're, you're remembering all your technical stuff from track driving. I'm tiptoeing around corners with what this car can do. But I've had it on track and it's brilliant and I have gotten into it. I mean far more than I would ever do on a canyon road. If you're in a sports car and you have any comfort level with driving a sports car quickly, you're going to catch somebody on a mountain road. Now, where it can start to get infuriating is when they see you and they refuse to pull over. They see you in the rearview mirror and they know you're faster, but yet they still refuse to pull over. It's just really wonderful. Just down in my heart, I really feel good about that. And I really want to pass you. I really do. So then if they see you and they're not prone to pull off, then it's now your responsibility to pass safely. And I, and I stress safely. Hi. Hi there. The biggest thing about it is visibility. You need to be able to see a long distance, farther than you need to pass. You need to be able to see like that so you can pass. I didn't even bother to downshift. Just did it. Second cam's coming up. Here it comes. There it is. That was a speed worthy of my shirt. Something that helps immensely on a road like this is where you look, where you put your eyes. This is a place where track driving is massively helpful for an actual road like this. You want to be looking as deep into the corner as you possibly can. Don't look right in front of the car. That's how we were all kind of trained and commuting makes us little drones that stare down in front. Don't do that. Look up and look way down as far as you can down the road. If you're going through a corner, especially a corner that seems like it's pretty sharp, Just connecting the entry, the apex, and track out. It's so much fun. I don't care if it's at low speeds. I'm just, I'm practicing techniques. I'm practicing things all the time. I'm not going fast enough where I need to start left foot braking and I need to start really 
you know, doing a lot of track techniques, but, you know, when you've got a little bit of open space to <laughs> let it rip. themselves as you drive them. You, you can't believe that the next corner was better than the last one. That's, that's almost a spiritual experience when you're driving. Be ego free. You don't have to be faster than your friend. He doesn't have to be faster than you. There's no bragging rights here other than the fact that you got to be out here at all. Look at these curves. Look at this. They built Porsche curves way out here in the wilderness. Look at this. <laughs> of all the things I want to do on a Saturday, there's about 20 different things I could be doing on any given weekend and be perfectly happy. But this is the top. Part of the fun for us is not just sharing the cars, but also sharing the great roads. This one's almost in the dead center of Utah, and it is spectacular. They don't call this a scenic byway for nothing. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. I get philosophical on some of these drives just because of what it does. You're either with your favorite podcast, <clears throat> your music, an audiobook, or your thoughts. And it does something, road trips do something. And doing canyon drives like this with your closest friend in the world, it doesn't really get too much better, really. For drivers, for enthusiasts, finding new roads, there's just something about the cleansing nature. Pretty much any sports car you take to a canyon road is probably got more capability than you realized when you drove it there. So we're just, we're investigating. We're getting a sense of capability and dynamics that you're never going to find in your daily commute. That's the great thing about a good mountain road. This road and this car is magic right now. I wish this kind of driving for everyone, for everybody that loves it and is enthusiast and wants to have that feeling, it's almost not necessarily track driving that'll do it for you because you get to stop, you get to enjoy scenery here. On, on the track, you're figuring out your lines, you're, you're racing, but here, I wish this for everyone. This is something Todd and I have discovered over the years and we keep looking for roads and keep refining the ways that we shoot and you know go driving. All I can do is say, do it.